Hey everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. The star of the show today is going to be the brand new Nuance from Thought Space Athletics. This one in particular is in the Ethos Plastic. I believe it's a 75-21 fairway driver. So I thought it would be really cool to compare it to some other discs with similar flight numbers. I've got the Leopard 3 and the new Proto Glow, Pl Proto Glow Plastic, which I do believe features the exact same flight numbers. So really curious to see how these two guys compare because I feel like the Leopard 3 and the Nuance have very similar flight numbers. I also have my Flippy Glow FD. Um, this is a minus 1-1 one, one to my understanding, but it flies like a minus 2-1. I've got my Prodigy F5, which has the same flight numbers. And then I've got what has been my workhorse Flippy Fairway Driver for about the last three weeks now. I've got this really awesome Cosmic Stamped River. Any of these discs you can go get over at the website, Disc Golf Deals USA. But let's give a couple discs a throw. We'll get a couple little warm-up shots here. Then we'll throw the Nuance, and then we'll throw one or two more. Let's throw the FD and the Leopard. A couple warm-up tosses. The form has been going pretty well. I've got a new episode of the Simon Says series that I'm working on. I really want to upload episodes to that series when I feel like I've made actual breakthroughs with my form. Really trying not to force that series as form improvements come. I want to really figure out what it is and why it works for me and then relate to you guys. But I've got a couple things in the works that I feel like have been super helpful for me. And I just yesterday played one of the best rounds of disc golf in my entire life. So the form changes have definitely been working. So that's the Proto Leopard 3. That guy, in my opinion, flies a little more stable than your typical minus two turn fairway driver. Then we've got one of my personal favorites, the Prodigy F5. Really love this disc. That's kind of my standard for the minus two, is that left to right movement that's a little bit more extended during that mid flight. So really hanging on to the turn for a while. And then we've got the cosmic stamped river here. But that was a really great example of what I feel like those minus two should fly like. They should hang on to that turn for like, it should, it should surprise you a little bit how long it actually stays on that high speed turn. So let's punch this nuance out there, see how it feels. It's got a little bit of dome. It's stiff. I would say the most notable thing about it, it's definitely the stiffest of all the discs that I felt. And I actually do like how stiff this disc actually is. As it continues to get colder, it might get too stiff, but right now in this exact moment, it feels pretty solid. Oh, see, that's really nice. I love that exaggerated left to right moving shot. And as I get better at backhand, getting a little more speed, a little more spin, I can get them to hang on to that turn longer than I've ever been able to before. Just a very useful shot to have, not only for distance and control, but it's also just so visually pleasing. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, what is this thing on my shirt? I wanted to show off a new product that we just launched and dropped over at Disc Golf Deals USA. It's the Knox Gear 39G. This is actually a wireless speaker. And what's really handy about this guy is let me set you guys down here so I can show you. It's actually really cool like sort of gift idea for the holidays. It actually magnetizes onto the shirt. So it comes with this little tab here, and this is the speaker. It sounds really phenomenal. I can't show you really. I mean, I could play music into the camera and you're not really gonna get to hear how good it actually sounds, but most speakers of this size sound like absolute crap. This thing sounds really awesome. And this little guy is such a strong magnet you can magnetize it to your disc golf bag. You can magnetize it to your shirt. And this thing is not coming off. I literally ran six miles playing music the entire time. And I had this clip to my shorts. So there was a lot of movement going on with this. And yeah, this guy stayed on no problem. So anyway, go check out the 39G at the link in the description below. Save 10% with my storefront. Let's get back to the video. I'd say the most notable difference from the Nuance to some of these other discs 
is it does just feel quite a bit more shallow in hand, but I think that this nuance is basically just like a slightly stiffer, pretty much carbon copy of the F5. Like these discs look and fly pretty much identical, but I will say this F5 is all chalky and feels weird. And this really feels like a premium disc. Thought Space has some of the highest quality discs. They feel great, they fly great. They always have multiple foils on their stamps. And I feel like they do a really nice job over there. Let's give these four discs a throw. We'll go F5, Nuance, FD, and then River. So you guys can get a little bit more bearing on what the flight actually looks like here. I really think that Nuance is like a carbon copy of the F5, but just in significantly better plastic. But I always just love how that thing flies. It's such a beauty of a flyer. People hate on Prodigy, but the F5 is a heck of a mold. Then my favorite Glow FD, getting an absolutely beautiful flight as well. I guess we'll throw the river and then the nuance, build the maximum amount of suspense. River. The river is by far the domiest of the bunch. So if you want dome, you probably want to get the river. But if you don't like dome, you probably want to get yourself a nuance because this is definitely a bit on the flatter side, not nearly as domey as the river. Again, has that slightly shallower feel. And it seems to be on the more understable side in comparison to the rest of the bunch. Like I can really trust that with a ton of height on it and get just a really nice full flight. And a lot of the other discs we're throwing in today's video, I've been throwing on and off for years. And you can see the new nuance is just as understable of very beaten versions with similar flight numbers. Man, it is so nice to not be playing in just the blazing heat. It was absolutely brutal some of those summer days. I'm hot, sweaty, the camera's overheating, the videos are overexposed, they look like crap. When we have this nice, like overcasty, cooler weather, I'm more comfortable out here making videos for you guys. The videos look better because they're not overexposed. And then I feel like I probably appear slightly happier on camera because I'm not absolutely melting to death. So that was a couple of backhands with everything. Now let's give everything a couple of forehands. I feel like the nuance feels really good on the flick due to having that slightly flatter profile as to where the river on a forehand. This just isn't a mold I would naturally turn to on the forehand line. This doesn't feel very comfortable for the flicks, but we're gonna see what we can do. Let's go F5, FD nuance, and then the big challenge will be the river. <clears throat> this is the Prodigy F5. Oh, that went so far. Wow. What a beauty. <laughs> this is the old school FD. Wow. I wish I could get my backhands to fly like how these forehands fly. All right, here's the first forehand with the ethos plastic nuance. Give it plenty of hyzer. Really wanted to turn and burn. That thing could have used a lot of height. I'd say the F5 and the FD probably feel a little better in hand for me for the flick. All right, good luck flicking the river. Okay, well that went 450 feet. That just proves that I have no idea what I'm talking about, confirmed. And you guys have been super supportive of the channel recently, and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot to me and you guys like the video, comment on the video. It's really motivating for me to just continue on and doing my best to produce the best quality I can produce. So make sure you please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and I need to know, do you guys bag any thought space discs? Yes or no? If yes, which ones do you bag? And if no, I'd love to know why not. I do think the nuance for me is probably a little too shallow for the forehand. Just doesn't feel quite right in the hand, especially when compared to the F5 or the FD. 
I feel like that shallowness really stands out for me when trying to throw it on the forehand line. But overall, I'm really enjoying the flight, especially on the backhand. I do want to give it another attempt on the flick. I feel like I did my last video, I just flicked a uh, Mint Discs Lobster, which is a minus three turn. I feel like if I can flick a lobster, I can flick a nuance. So let's make it happen. This is the FD. We'll throw the FD first, then the other discs, and then the nuance. That is the F Dizzle. That is such a good disc. If it wasn't so hard to replace, that's the pre Nate Perkins Night Strike Glow FD. If it wasn't so hard to replace, I'd bag that thing forever. Oh, that's the problem with these minus twos. It's really going to expose you for your mistakes, which is why the pros tend to lean on more of like the zero turn or the minus one turns. Just so that sort of a small mistake can turn into a big mistake with a flippier disc. So the flippier discs are fun to throw, but that's definitely an issue that you can run into if your whole bag is flippy discs. Oh. Same deal. I mean, it's going to go far because it turned for so long, but that river got 75 feet of right to left carry. All right. I feel like there must be some kind of headwind or something. Let's put this nuance on a lot of hyzer and height all right come on come on so if you have a super fast arm even on the backhand you're gonna get a lot of turn on the nuance could potentially be great for rollers or those big turnover lines i feel like if you've ever thrown the mantra the nuance is going to basically be a slower mantra I feel like it's a really fun disc to throw. It's going to be a one that's easy to learn, especially for new players, juniors, uh, female players. And then the, so when compared to some other like minus two turn slot fairway drivers, I think the nuance is probably something that's not going to be able to make my bag. I really do like the disc. I think the artwork is awesome. TSA plastic is awesome. I understand. Um, to my understanding, they're made and produced by MVP. So obviously the plastic is of the absolute highest quality. But with that being said, the flight just isn't quite versatile enough for me. I think I just have plenty of other discs that I'm more comfortable with to get those nuance type flight characteristics out of, um, whether it be the F5, the FD, or the River. Those discs that just feel less shallow and a little more comfortable in my hand, that would fulfill that slot for me. But I feel like overall it is a great flyer and just because the hand feel wasn't quite right for me, I think they nailed the stiffness. It's just a bit too shallow for me. But with that being said, I think it's a pretty cool disc. I definitely think if you're interested in a stiff and understable fairway driver, the Nuance would be a really great option for you. But anyway, see you guys in the comments below. Leave something down there for me. I'll make sure to read and reply to every comment. I'll see you guys in the next one and take care.